Hey there, what's up? Um, I'm Spammy and I'm going to give my uh, first impression, my thoughts on uh, Hero of Obelisk, a uh, 3D MMORPG with uh, dungeon crawler elements. It's actually pretty much a dungeon crawler with uh, some uh, 3D elements with a fucking annoying camera. There is not much innovation, but it has some uh, pretty uh, cool mechanics, um, kind of. Um, some of them are fun, most of them are kind of annoying. So uh, roll the intro and let's see what this game has to offer. So right off the bat, you can see that uh, this game has uh, really bright colors, uh, really cute uh, anime characters and uh, you go to the character creation to make your uh, character and in 2013 you see that you actually have uh, the last 10 years uh, character creation with really simple uh, customization options. So you can choose between three classes, um, swordsman, adventurer and scholar. You have uh, male and female, so I guess that's a plus, there is no gender lags, that will be even more uh, uh, stupid than this. Um, you have only seven uh, face options, and uh, in the face options, you don't get to choose your uh, uh, eyes and uh, mount uh, separately. You actually have those pointed up. It's kind of annoying, but I don't have anything to say about this. Um, there are six tones uh, for your skin. Um, you have a few hair options as well, and hair colors, and that's about it. This is the character creation. Okay, so uh, if you thought that uh, character creation was bad, check this out. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, items and uh, item enhancement and uh, item variety. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to enhance my uh, sword and for some reason I thought that uh, item enhancement was going to be more complicated, but I guess I was wrong. Um, to enhance it's uh, really simple, you right click on your enhancement stone, you click on your rabbit item that you want to enhance and that's about it. Um, it's safe to enhance until uh, rank 5, from rank 5 to rank 10 it can fail but uh, the item doesn't break and from uh, rank 10 god bless you and uh, I really hope you don't lose your item. Now the worst thing about uh, the item system in this game is the inventory. At rank 4 as you can see my inventory is almost full. Um, it's annoying because uh, in the dungeon if you want to pick up an item you always have to uh, uh, open your inventory, drop something that you don't want, uh, so you can pick up something from uh, the ground. It's annoying and frustrating at the same time. And uh, don't get your hopes up because the questing is no different. Questing in this game is, uh, oh god, awful. You go to NPC, you pick up the quest. You go to another NPC just so he can give you another quest so you can go in the dungeon and pick up three things, kill another uh, ten things. Uh, no different, it's kind of boring, but I guess uh, that's about it with this. <laughs> I don't have anything to say, um, I kind of expected that, so yeah, uh, we're going to check out uh, some of the combat and let's see how the combat feels in this game. Well, Hero of Obelix doesn't really excel in uh, many things like questing, storyline, yeah, the storyline is pretty broke, guys. In one of the quest lines from uh, the beginning, it actually mentions that um, the quest giver doesn't even know why uh, uh, you want to be a hero of dungeon and I'm not kidding here guys, it's literally in the quest line if you read it, if actually anybody's reading the quest lines nowadays. Um, but there are some pretty good points about this game, you know. Um, for example, the classes are not just the three classes from the start, uh, they have some advancements. Uh, for example, the swordsman have uh, two builds that he can go, he can go DPS and go uh, fighter, gladiator and um, at the end uh, conqueror or he can go the tank way and be a warrior, then knight and uh, guardian, so yeah. Now the combat is a top targeting system. Um, you may think that this is a pretty old system, but this one is done pretty well, it's really fluid, it's really fun. Uh, there is always um, uh, targeting someone, so uh, you don't really have uh, to worry. Um, if uh, anyone is attacking you, you're going to auto-target uh, that uh, person. Um, the active abilities can keep you from um, danger. Uh, mobs that have uh, special attacks um, uh, show up uh, on your uh, battlefield as a sign and uh, shows the range of that attack so you can uh, avoid it. Um, even though this uh, system uh, it's uh, kind of easy on the player, it doesn't mean that uh, you can actually be the bosses all that easy, you know. Um, this was one of the things that keep me going in the game. So um, the other things that I can talk about is the master variety and uh, uh, maps. Um, all the dungeons look kind of different one from another, even though the geometry is kind of the same. They look different um, in the colors and maybe the monsters look different, all of them actually 
uh, pretty much look different. Uh, from uh, level 1 to level 10 it actually showed up quite well that uh, the monster variety is really good. Um, other than that I can say that this game has uh, a lot of events for uh, the closet beta. So for example if you reach the max level for the closet beta which is uh, rank 30, you get $20 worth of uh, in-game cash for the store. Uh, what if you uh, enhance one of your weapons to rank 10, which is highly possible, um, you get uh, $10 for in-game uh, store, so yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, so, this game is worth a try, you know. If you don't have anything to do, grab a key from uh, MMO site or from any other media website that has uh, keys for this game and start to play, see if you like it. So, uh, if you like the video, guys, please uh, click the like button. Uh, if you really like it, add it to the favorites, um, and if you really like to see uh, um, videos like this, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Ciao, guys.